hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel if you're just watching my video for the first time please click on that subscribe button and like this video if you find this video to be helpful to you today i'll be talking about things those habits or rather things that we do that might cause us to have stunted hair growth or not even see any hair growth at all there are some things that we might be you know doing that might be causing us not to see the desired growth that we want to see one of those things are making tight as time guys we want to stay off tension like our scalp needs to breathe so those tight hairstyles they are not doing us any good we don't want to apply too much tension on our scalp because then your hair will be ripping off from the roots you know your hair is going to be ripping off from the roots and you are going to think your hair is not growing or you're going to think that it's shedding meanwhile it's forcefully being pulled out you know from its roots so tight hairstyles is a no-go area guys if you want to grow your hair long please stay off tight hairstyles the next thing that might be causing us not to see that much growth is frequent use of relaxers chemicals and dyes colors guys in the long run all these things will thin out your hair it's going to make your hair not to grow to the, its you know full potentials i've been there as when it comes to relaxers i've been there so i know what i'm talking about relaxers at the long run you're going to see your hair is not going to you know be in its true state it's not going to be full and healthy what you end up doing is, is cutting your hair all off before you can grow back you know that natural hair that you, that is full and healthy so stay off chemicals you can find them even in products hair care products so what i do once i go to a store to buy a product i check the ingredients guys you have to check the ingredient because then there are some products with bunch of you know big big names that you don't even know the meaning and you just grab it and you go no whatever um, product you want to get you have to check the names there are some chemicals that is not good for your hair at all so you want to check the names and see if there are some uh, there are ingredients that you can you know use if you don't know the names if you don't know how to pronounce it if you don't know the meaning you can go to google so what I do when I go to a store, a store to purchase any product, I check the ingredients. I will stand there and check the ingredients. So whatever name that I don't understand, it's funny, right? Whatever names I don't understand or I cannot pronounce or I don't even know what it means, I'm going to Google it and check if this name or whatever it is is good for my hair. So guys, we have, we have to be very intentional about the kinds of chemicals we put on our hair because it's going to make our hair look as if it's not growing meanwhile it's growing but these chemicals you know are, they are slowing down the growth rate of our hair another thing that you know might be causing us to lose our hair is the use of elastic band we want to stay up this these are no 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 for our natural hair yes they have metals in them so they are going to be ripping off your hair each time you use it to band your hair and you want to take it out they are going to be ripping off your hair anytime i want to band my hair i want to pack my hair this is the first thing i lay my hands on before using any other thing and i discovered that it used to you know rip out my hair like if i want to remove it you will see strands of your hair all around it which is very 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 bad because if you have those strands of your hair each time you use this and they're pulling off then you're not retaining any length because you're ripping them off with this so it's safe to use um, clips or um, certain um, scrunchies like I have I made these certain scrunchies that's what I use or there's this um, fabric elastic like elastic not really it doesn't have any metal el elastic in them so use something that is safe that doesn't have any metals in them so this is ripping off your hair it's not making you see that growth that you want to see it's eating of it <laughs> it's taking out all your hair each time you use it i don't use this 
I don't use this at all. So this rubber bands, elastic band, they are no go. Dumb them. So another thing that might be causing you to lose your hair is dehydration. Like guys, we need to take in enough water. So you want to make sure that you are taking in enough nutrients, enough um, fruits and vegetables and enough water. Like water does a lot, a lot. I'm telling you guys, water does a lot. I consume water like no man's business. <laughs> I might not be too faithful in the fruits aspect, in the veggies aspect. Like I'm not going to call me and tell you guys that I take fruit every day. No. I don't although I'm trying to you know be consistent with that but as for water we're not negotiating that one water is very 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 important another thing that might be causing your hair not to grow is stress so you want to make sure that each time you're stressed out you're not touching your hair you're not handling your hair if you're tired you're stressed maybe from a long day don't touch your hair postpone that wash day or that moisturizing day to another day where you feel more relaxed and stress-free because at the time when we are stressed our hormones are up and your hair is weak so don't touch your hair when you're stressed leave it alone nothing will happen to it it will grow whether you touch it or not <laughs> your hair will grow so just leave it alone and do it some other time when you are a lot better because if you undo your hair when you're stressed you're going to break your hair you're going to in fact your hair is going to pull out your hair is going to dry out a lot is going to go on and it's going to look as if you are not retaining length so these few things you know I failed to share with you guys so that you can see there are various ways we might be causing damage to our hair yes gene genetics has a part it plays but you have the major part you play it doesn't matter what kind of gene you have that grows out your hair like fertilizers it doesn't matter your own habit matters a lot I've seen siblings that one has a very long hair and the other one does not have a very long hair they are of the same parents so there are habits that we need to stop doing you know that we need to stop practicing that so that we can be able to see you know our hair in its full potentials there are several habits out there but i just i i don't want to make this video a long one i just decided to share this few with you guys and i hope that you learned something from it so if you find this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up like that like button down there is free <laughs> you don't pay for it give this video a big thumbs up and also if you feel there are other things that we need to do to help our hair to flourish you have some good tips for us some information or what you have been doing that has helped you Put it down also in the comment section and if you're just joining me for the first time you're just watching this video please hit that red subscribe button down there and subscribe to this channel it's completely free you're not paying for anything you know you will just be helping me you know and also encourage me to continue uploading more videos as i always say stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye